are starting off the week, Monday night. We are having salmon for dinner with jasmine rice and vegetables. So I just have the oven preheating to 425 and I'm gonna cook these for 15 minutes. I just have a drizzle of avocado oil on it. I use avocado oil because it has a high smoke point. On the salmon, I have a little bit of salt and pepper. And then on top, I have garlic and herb butter. You can find it in the seafood section next to all the seafood. It comes in a container like this. Here is the salt and pepper that I used. I poured the jasmine rice into a big glass jar like this. It's from Target. A little tip that I do is since I do pour the jasmine rice into a container, I cut off the instructions on the bag and place it on top of the rice in the jar. Here are the vegetables that I'm going to pair with the salmon and rice. They're from Trader Joe's. It has tons of different green vegetables. It has broccoli, green beans, peas, and zucchini. And I will show you what it all looks like in the end. Here is dinner. I'm obviously not going to eat that huge piece. I think I'm going to cut it in half. But as you can see, the garlic butter coats the salmon nicely and cooks onto it and adds a nice seasoning over top. Jasmine rice. And that is how the vegetables turned out. It is Tuesday night. I don't know if you can tell what I'm making by what I'm showing you, but I am making stuffed peppers for dinner. I haven't made these in a little while, so we'll see how this goes. It's also a new recipe. I also want to say that all the recipes that I am using will be listed down below. If you don't see a recipe for the item that I'm showing, I didn't use a recipe. So I'm making stuffed peppers for dinner. I have already washed them cut out the insides and put them on a baking dish. I actually had the perfect size baking dish for this. I'm cooking it with ground beef. These are the seasonings that I'm using. I'm using salt, oregano, pepper, also avocado oil. The recipe calls for olive oil, but if you remember from yesterday, I use avocado oil, diced tomatoes, tomato paste, and minced garlic. I like to save time on certain ingredients so I get the garlic minced and I get diced onion already pre-cut. So I have an onion. It calls for uncooked rice, but you cook it in the recipe. So I already have cooked rice from last night's dinner left over and it's the perfect amount for this recipe that I have left over. So I'm very happy about that. It's just jasmine rice. And then I don't come for me in the comments. I really Monterey Jack cheese. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. I will definitely let you know how it is, but the recipe will be linked in the down bar down below. So I'm going to cook everything up now. I need to cook the ground beef. Let's do this. Okay, so I know the recipe called for six peppers, but the filling really filled four peppers. I took two of the peppers out and just stuffed full four peppers, and I'll just use those other peppers. I'll just snack on them for the rest of the week, and then I just topped with the cheese, and I'm going to cover them, put them in at 400 degrees for 35 minutes, and then take the foil off, and then let the cheese get all melty. I also am using a smaller dish now. This one fits four and the other one fit the six of them. So I'm gonna put these in the oven and then I will show you what they look like when they are finished. I pulled the peppers out just a little bit early. I pulled them out, I think, five minutes early. I'll let you know how they taste. They look amazing and it smells so good in here.
Here is what I'm cooking for Wednesday night dinner. It's balsamic chicken. So the ingredients are, we are using chicken tenderloins instead of chicken breasts. We like thin chicken. It cooks better too and for a shorter period of time. The recipe that I have linked down below use chicken breasts. Just modify the cook time based on what you use, what type of chicken you use, how thinly sliced it is. The recipe calls for soy sauce, but we use liquid aminos. It's a soy sauce alternative. Balsamic vinegar. I use avocado oil, salt, pepper, dried oregano, and I buy already minced garlic, yes. We also tenderize our chicken and our steaks. It really helps with flavor, the overall texture, and everything like that. So I'm going to season these and then put them in a bag and let it sit for about 15, 20 minutes while I shower, and then we will start cooking it up. Okay, I let the chicken marinate in that bag for about 20 minutes. This is what it looks like, and I poured the rest of the sauce that it was marinating in over top of it. I'm gonna cook it at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. These are the fancy sides that we are pairing with the chicken, just mashed potatoes and green beans. Here is how the chicken turned out. Here are the green beans. I just tossed them in a little bit of this butter, salt, and pepper tossed in there. And then here are the mashed potatoes and I put salt and pepper on them. I might add a little bit of butter, but this is dinner. This is how it turned out. It smells so good. I wish you could smell the balsamic chicken. It smells amazing. It is Thursday night. This is what I'm making for dinner tonight. I am making mozzarella stuffed turkey meatballs with spaghetti and marinara sauce. And then we're also gonna have a side salad. These are all the ingredients. Again, the recipe for this will be listed down below. The recipe has you making marinara, but here I am taking the easy way and just buying my own can of marinara. So you can follow the recipe or buy your own can, whatever. Just you can modify it however you want. These are the ingredients you need. Avocado oil. I'm using just regular spaghetti. An egg, garlic, salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, panko breadcrumbs. The recipe calls for whole wheat. So all I had was just seasoned panko. Romano cheese, but I have Parmesan and Romano cheese mixed. So it should be fine. Marinara is not on the list of ingredients, but I'm adding it myself. String cheese, because I'm using that, because you can use that for stuffing your turkey meatballs. And these are all the ingredients. So I just finished cooking the spaghetti. The meatballs are over here. I wanted to show you my salad that I am pairing with my spaghetti and meatballs. It's really simple, just baby spinach as the base. And then I use this salad kit. I just used the salad mixture though. I didn't really think that the toppings went with what I was eating for dinner. I'm gonna be using oil and vinegar for the dressing. And then I just cut up some tomatoes and put it on top. And I'm using my fancy plastic bowls tonight, so.
It's Friday. Happy Friday. For dinner tonight, I'm cooking Bubba Burgers. I feel like everyone knows about these. Super easy dinner, I do have to say. If you can hear that in the background, it's just the air fryer. I'm gonna be cooking these sweet potatoes in the air fryer. Trader Joe's also has really good sweet potatoes that we buy all the time. If you do not have an air fryer, I don't know what you are doing and where you've been, but you need to get on this bandwagon because it is the best thing ever. It makes everything so good, especially frozen foods. Chicken, I have tried raw chicken. I have tried cooking in there once and it turned out so good it was like a breaded chicken so bubba burgers sweet potato fries i got this to make little lettuce buns cheddar cheese i'm gonna cut up some tomatoes and we don't have any avocados that are ripe so i'm using just the trader joe's chunky guacamole to substitute as avocado but yeah here's dinner very easy dinner quick dinner Great for a Friday night. Here's how dinner turned out. Like I said, very easy dinner. Topped it with cheddar cheese. Here are the sweet potato fries in the air fryer. And we're gonna make buns out of lettuce topped with tomato and the chunky guacamole. Are on television crew and radio and so many different folks that make it all happen. 